Hi, Garth Delican here again. Now, if you remember, I did a video a few weeks ago uh, and I was talking to you about being uncomfortable. But I was watching a video the other day that really inspired me. It's by a guy called John Faraday. He was one of America's uh, youngest millionaires. And uh, not only was I inspired by him and what he did, but he came out with a line that really struck a chord with me. And he was talking, the line he came out with was, comfort is the enemy of success. And I thought, well, what a great word that is. What a great phrase. Because how many people actually get comfortable with being uncomfortable? And by that, I'm talking about if you're overweight, sometimes it's not that you can't be bothered to do anything about it, but you sort of don't have the motivation and you get comfortable with being overweight. Or maybe you're not very fit or you, you want to exercise, but because you've been so used to not being fit, you actually get comfortable with not being fit. It's almost like a catch-22 situation, isn't it? And it's the same with success in your life, or if, if you're not happy with your job, if you're not happy at work, you get comfortable with the situation. And we've all got the power within us to actually change that situation. But how many of us actually do change? A great analogy I heard many years ago uh, about the power that we have and that we don't use is a 500 pound bull in a field. And I'm not talking about 500 pounds in sterling or dollars, I'm talking 500 pounds in weight. This 500 pound bull is in a short pen surrounded by a little wooden, little wooden fence and he's gazing out all the wonderful pasture ahead of him. And he's wondering why can't I be out there? And yet, this bull, if he was to lean against that fence, he could break through and actually enter those pastures and eat to his heart's content or do whatever he wants to. I mean, it, it, it's, it's a trite kind of thing to say, but it just made me laugh. And I'm just thinking, how many of us are pressing against a fence of life without actually exerting enough force on it to make that change that we want? So all I'm trying to say really is that by actually making small changes in our lives and actually becoming uncomfortable with our comfortableness, which is almost a paradox, isn't it? We can actually make the changes that we want and move forward with our lives. So it's just a little bit of food for thought. And it's just a short video, just to capture my thoughts. So give it a go. Exert a little bit of force against your life. Push against that fence. Smash through that barrier and see where it takes you. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.